A big question surrounding our freedom was if we would be able to take care of ourselves outside of the plantation and what role in society would we hold. The people on St. Helena Island showed that we could be self-sufficient and take care of ourselves and each other, starting off with the Penn Center. The Penn Center was started in 1862 as the Union Army took over St. Helena's Island and the slave masters fled. The school was funded by Northern Philanthropists and the first class was taught by Laura Town and Ellen Murray. Miss Charlotte Fortin was the first black person to teach at this school. She was born free in Philadelphia in 1837. Let me know if I should make a full video about her. The Penn School was the first school in the South created to teach formerly enslaved Africans. The people there were taught things like reading and writing as well as trades such as basket weaving and carpentry. St. Helena's also saw the transition from slave free labor to paid labor. They were paid about a dollar or thirty dollars in today's money for picking 400 pounds of cotton. The families and extended communities were able to put their money together and buy land on the island for about $1.25 an acre. After establishing land ownership, the Gullah people of the island were able to create their own communities on the same plantations that they were formerly enslaved on. Those communities still stand strong today and they also created independent industries that they were able to self be self-sufficient and take care of each other as well as trade with white folks on the mainland, as well as on the island, northern whites who had bought land on the island. For generations, the Penn School gave the people of St. Helena's Island the opportunity to be educated and fend for themselves, whereas in other places in South Carolina, African people could only go to school up to the seventh grade. As U.S. public education began to expand, the Penn School became the Penn Community Center, and it has been used for all types of community events as well as a cultural heritage day. It was actually one of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s favorite places to chill. The Gullah Geechee community is still strong on the island, and just recently they were able to block the building of a golf course on their island. Also, another fun fact, Queen Quet, the chief of the Gullah Geechee Nation, is actually a native of St. Helena Island. She, as well as you and me, are all reflections of our ancestors' resilience and resistance to the system.